Hi guys, in this video, we will learn what is HTML. Watch the entire video because we have a quiz question for you at the end and one lucky winner will get an exciting merchandise. So let's dig in and learn about HTML. The first step for anyone wanting to learn web development. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It is used by developers to define structure of a web page. Every web page that you see on the web is written using HTML. Let's take an example of Internshala's homepage. This beautiful looking page is an example of a well-organized page and contains texts and images. The page is written using HTML. Web browsers read and understand the markup text written in HTML. In simple words, HTML speaks the language web browsers understand and instructs it to display the content. In this case, content is text and images. The page can be divided in multiple small sections and each section has specific information in it. So when you write an HTML document, you are simply giving browser a set of instructions on how to display content on your web page. Now that you have understood what HTML is, let us move to see how does an HTML page structure look like. To understand HTML page structure, you need to first download and install NetBeans. NetBeans is an integrated development environment, IDE. Editing HTML, CSS, MySQL and PHP programs in NetBeans is very easy. Check the description for the link to download NetBeans. Once you install NetBeans, create a new project and name it My First Project. Now open the index.html file in this project folder. Let me now walk you through the default code that is present in the index.html file. The first line that you see is the declaration of the document type. The statement is enclosed in opening and closing angular brackets. Note that there is an exclamation sign before the keyword doc type. This statement tells the browser that the document uses HTML file language. The highlighted section that you see on your screen is a comment. Comments are a part of the code, ignored by the browser and act as a note for the developers. Adding comments at appropriate places helps in understanding the code better. You can add comments at multiple places, anywhere in your HTML document. To add a comment, start with an angular bracket, followed by an exclamation sign and followed by two dashes. Add your comment text and end it with two dashes followed by closing angular bracket. To make my HTML file simpler, I will replace the existing comment by this text. Add your comment here. Next is HTML tags. Tags are used to inform browsers on how to format or display the text. Except for the declaration of the document type and comments, the entire content of the HTML file is enclosed within the HTML tag. Note that you can include comments within the HTML tag too. Next is head tag. It's an important tag and contains useful information about the page that is not visible to the users. The title tag that you see here is used to define the title of the page or the name of the page. The name appears when you open your browser. I plan to make a page about my favorite superhero, so I will change the title to my favorite superhero. Next two lines contain tags that we do not need to use at this stage. Let me remove it and clear some space. That takes us to our next tag, which is body tag. The body tag contains all the visible content of the page. The visible content may include texts, images, links, videos, etc. The final tag which you see is the division tag or the div tag. This tag is used to create different sections. Right now we are not going to use the div tag, so let me remove it. Since Batman is my favorite superhero, let me write something about Batman. Batman is a fictional comic character. Looks good. We have created a simple web page. To see this page on the browser, click on the run button here. By the way, F6 key on your keyboard is a shortcut to this action. This will open your first project in your default browser as you see on the screen. Congratulations, you have created your first page. 
the only visible content on this web page is the text we had written within the body tag also note the page title which appears on the browser tab my favorite superhero so now that we have an understanding of html are you ready for the quiz check the html code on the screen what part of the text would be displayed on the tab of the web page answer in the comment section below one lucky winner would receive an exciting internshala trainings merchandise hope you enjoyed learning about html and html page structure in web development this video tutorial is a part of the internshala trainings web development training program and to learn concepts including css bootstrap php and mysql i visit the link in the description to learn exciting new concepts and skills on the go subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to stay tuned